Welcome to the 360 Electrician Podcast. My name is Samantha McDonald from NECA. If I sound a little bit different than Jeff, it's because he gave me his podcast. I'm taking it over now. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. That was not the deal. You see, you guys, the most powerful woman in the trade, the power to take over my podcast. Samantha, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. If you are listening to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google, or wherever you're listening to it from, thank you for being here. I have probably my most special guest. I know I say that about all my guests, but it just gets better and better and better. I have this Samantha, time you mean it. Yes, I absolutely mean it. Samantha McDonald from Nika. She is the digital content coordinator, not only for Nika. Are you ready? I wish I had a drum roll. Electrical Contractor Magazine and Electri International. Like that is the trifecta of the trade. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get to know this woman sitting right next to me, 1,200 miles away in Washington, D.C. Hey, let's get into the podcast. Samantha, welcome to the podcast. Before we get into who you are and why you are the most powerful women, I think, in the trade, and I think after this podcast, a lot of people are going to agree. Tell me about Nika. Tell me what you do there about the organization. I know it. I've known it for many, many years. I know uh, the highlight of it is the trade show, which we'll be talking about. But can you give the listeners a little bit more background if they're new to the trade, they're thinking about getting into the trade, or they've been in the trade and they just don't know who Nika is? I know it sounds impossible, but can you give us a brief description of what you guys do over there? Yeah, absolutely. So Nika, also known as the National Electrical Contractor Association, we are the voice of the industry. Um, you know, we really focus on providing our members with legislative advocacy, labor relations, um, educational resources, and we also put on events for our members that you know really help them grow professionally in business development, service and maintenance. We have a ton of different things for our members. So no matter what area you're in, we are here to provide you support in whatever area you need to grow from. That's pretty amazing. And it's funny because, again, a lot of times us electricians, we're in our own bubbles. Like we start like my California company versus my Montana company, right? Yeah. So I get people that I coach all over the country and my California people, you know, and I, I used to only think about that because I'm in my California bubble. Sometimes we don't realize organizations like Nika exist and we don't realize that there's help out there. Just like you said, the big part is the advocacy to the government. I mean, a lot of these yeah. rules and regulations that we live with right now as electricians, Nika is the one that made it better for us. And so if you haven't been involved yet, I'm going to go ahead and put Nika's website right on the video podcast, which, by the way, if you're listening to this podcast, you'll get to watch the podcast on our podcast channel on YouTube at the 360 Electrician. So just go to YouTube at 360 Electrician. Check out the podcast link. Check out Nika. Get involved. www.neca net.org. So nikanet.org. And that's probably your best place for all things Nika. Now we're going to talk about a couple of other things, but before I do, I want to know who this person is. And I know you do too. Why is she the most powerful person in the trade? I, if I didn't tell you, I think I did, but she is the digital content coordinator for not only Nika, also electrical contractor magazine, which by the way, is free. If you want to sign up, I have my collection. If you're watching the video right now, I have my collection of electrical contractor magazines. These things are probably one of the awesomest publications that you got out there. And last but not least, Electri International, which I want to know more about. So, Samantha, how did you even get into a position like this? Because realistically, you're in the trade. I know you don't have a Klein lineman's hammer in your hand right? I know Klein's going to say we're not a hammer, no. but you don't necessarily put that tool in your hand, but the tool you actually put in your hand wields way more power. Dollar to dollar has, it brings in more dollars to the industry as a whole than anybody put together. So can you tell me about that? How did you get there? What is it that you do? We want to know more about Samantha. Yeah, I think it was really interesting how we started because I grew up with my dad being an electrical contractor. So I always knew what he was doing. I always told people he was an electrician, even though he wasn't really working in the field as much anymore. So when I first moved to DC for college, my dad actually gave me an introduction to uh, our senior vice president of government affairs and public relations, Marco Giambardino. And from there, him and I, we just hit it off. And he hired me on board to be their social media intern for Nika. And that obviously came with the territory of Electrical Contractor Magazine and Electro International. So luckily, you know, just those connections of my dad being a contractor led me to kind of following in his footsteps in a way of staying in the industry. And then, you know, people that I knew growing up that were also electricians or, you know, if they held a position in a local Nika chapter, 
they've kind of been my guide alongside as I've gone through my professional career. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Cause again, your position, uh, like a lot of the people that I get on this podcast, it's kind of one in a million. Um, I know. So I want to talk a little bit about how you and I met, um, me and Samantha mm -hmm. have this great, like kind of back and forth. Um, I'm going to say it. I suffer from ADD a lot. I'm a guy that's like, boom, boom, boom. Well, it just so happens I put this post out on LinkedIn and correct me anytime you want. And, you know, I'm like, well, you know, I got to get out there. I'm, I'm in social media and I, and I have no idea that Samantha McDonald's exists because I'm thinking again, I'm in my bubble. Like I'm the only social yeah. media out there. I'm the kid, you know, like, yeah, right. And then all of a sudden yeah. I get this bling and there's this young lady and she's like, man, I love what you said or something like that. Da, da, da. And I think right away I was like, cool. Hey, this is who I am. But like, I want to say everything. I go, you want to get on a quick call? And then I'm like, you know, I do that like nine out of you 10 times. Like two hours. Yeah, it was, it was within two hours, right? Is that what you said? I think, yeah. Because So you had, you made a couple posts and I believe you tagged Electrical Contractor Magazine. Yes. But when I was looking through their comments, I think you also comped at something. So from there, I think it was your profile photo. I saw that it was just this cool logo. So I was like, I got to check this guy out. Huh. And once I went on your profile, I saw, you know, you were tagging Electrical Contractor Magazine um, you know, just all your other posts. So I was like, I got to connect this with this guy. Very cool. As soon as I connected with you, I think it was two minutes later, you sent me a whole detail oriented paragraph. <laughs> like we were on a dating app and you nice. were like, you know, this person here, are my key points about me. And then, yeah, we hopped on a phone call for like two hours. Yes. We just kept going back and forth. It was. And then, you know, again, uh, Samantha suffers from the same thing I do. I want to get it done yeah, and I want to get it done now. But the funny part is we, See, here we go. So I tell a lot of people that I coach that because I coach people from Canada, too. I won't go out, outside of Canada, but they often say, can you coach me? And I go, well, we speak the same language, meaning this is the, the electrical side. 120, 240, North America, the electrical is the same. Codes are basically the same. You would figure that's what I'm talking about. When, when I say you're in the trade, you're in the trade. So we were able to talk about trade stuff that maybe is not the hands on putting in a panel, but mm -hmm. how what, where the companies involved, the promotion, the, the, the stuff that makes me buy the panel, the make the stuff that may, introduces me to a, a company comes from you as the digital, uh, a content creator, because your posts are the posts that we follow and the information that we get. So I was so intrigued and that's how me and Samantha just started talking. And that conversation went for two hours. We probably laughed a lot and mind you, she's old oh, enough yeah. to be my daughter. So that's what electrical does. You know, you speak the same language. And so now I'm yeah. like her, um, her, her, uh, long lost. You're like my dad of the trade. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. However you want to say it. So, um, we also got interested in just the different things and some things that we talked about. And I know we've mm -hmm. got questions here and, and I want to go too far, but this is what me and Samantha will do. We'll start talking about something. We'll think about yeah. something else, but I want to talk about, you know, being the most powerful women in the trade and a little bit about that and the three points and, and how, Things happen on your side. So I'm sure every yeah. creator out there, and this is a big thing when I was on with Klein and, and a couple of other sponsors, you know, you guys probably get a thousand times a day, people like us thinking, hey, I've got 10,000 followers. Give me free stuff, free stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I approach it totally different. My, I'm blessed with having two brick and mortars. This is really a joy to help other people and stuff like that. But I'm sure you get bombarded every day with 800 different, you know, whether it's companies, people like us or something yeah. to promote it. So um, you being the most powerful woman, that's step number one. You are the filter. It come, kind of comes to you and you scroll and you go just like that chance that happened that we connected. Luckily, it's for the yeah. better. I'm, I'm happy about that. I didn't mess that one up. Me too. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. uh, so tell me how that works day to day. What is what is your, your job include on that part? Because that's part one. You have a lot of power to wield because you are the gatekeeper to social media, which we know as I said, I was saying it earlier, I'm an old, I'm an old fart now. I'm 52 years old. Most of the people I'm coaching are 25 to 35 years old and they live on this thing in social media and you're the gatekeeper. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think social media now is such a powerful tool, not just with connecting with other people, but you know, you're learning more and more about the trades. I know just in my everyday work life, um, you know, I'm connecting with different people in the field, different influencers, different um, Nika members, you know, chapter executives, anything like that. And, you know, I'm learning every single day from them as well as we're kind of exchanging knowledge throughout it. So I've never worked a day in my life on the field. I've never, you know, I've never stepped on a job site where I was going to be performing work or anything like that. But with that being said, I've had the opportunity to kind of learn the trades from the inside out, you know, studying 
what is going to make our members interested in these things? Um, you know, how can, what are our educational resources? How are they going to benefit them when I'm promoting them on social media? Just learning how these different webinars that I've seen and I've participated in, how they can really help our members and just other members in the industry. Yeah. I mean, that's the funny part. You say that because remember I said when we're in our bubble. So a lot of people I, mm -hmm. I coach, I say, diversify your business. Why? See, you are almost a a better at the trades in the sense because you have such a diverse connection with everybody. And when you're posting something about uh, an organization or a meeting Nika is going to have or a safety program, I don't get those opportunities as big of a contractor as I am. I will only be limited to two or three things in the trade where you're exposed to a hundred things literally a month mm -hmm. in the trade. So I would argue the fact that, yeah, like we said, you might have not put a tool in your hand, but that doesn't mean that you're not a part of this trade and a lot of the a lot of the residue of what you do for lack of better terms is rubbed off on all of us in the trade because there's going to be a time where now i'm only looking at these four or five things and then you've already looked at a hundred and you've posted those three items that i'm looking for and then there's the connection yeah. that that's where yeah. i believe the power of social media lays and that power being wielded by nika being as big as they are and having as many advocates in Washington and the people in the front line to really help the trade grow. I think that's why it's pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to add to that? Yeah, you're so right because, you know, I can talk to someone from where you are in Montana today and then tomorrow I might be talking to someone from New York. I mean, and I'm getting the different perspectives, especially at our events. I was just recently at the first ever NECA service and maintenance conference. And with that, everyone was sharing, you know, just the opportunities that they were facing, but also the threats they're facing in their businesses. So I'm learning from all these people from all different parts of the country. And, you know, we're more alike than you think, no matter what part of the country, whether you have a smaller business or a larger business, everyone is so, everyone is still facing the same issues. So I think that's the awesome thing about Nika is that everyone comes together and we all work together. And obviously Nika National provides resources to help with these issues. Like I said, the educational resources, but also we have so many different programs and task forces that, you know, really help everyone else kind of grow professionally and tackle these problem areas that they're having. Yep. I love it. I love it. You're absolutely right. I think it, I think Nika is, again, it's a tool that must be in the electrical contractors tool belt for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then as those electricians grow, you got to be a part of this. I think a big thing also is just to go to the trade show because the trade yeah. show now introduces you and opens you up to so many things. Everything you talked it's about. So yes. The mm -hmm. safety, the conferences, the back end, some of it. Yes. It's not yeah. going to be affordable. I understand when you're first starting out, you know, I get that, but that's not the point. The point is that the resources is there so that you have that goal. And if you get there, there's somebody out there that's going to reach out and give you a hand. Second yeah. thing I wanted to actually talk about is on the part of that social media. So social media is literally where I get 90% of my news. I'm not opening up TV anymore. I'm not looking at TV. And there's another part of it. Nika has so many incredible sponsors and partners because of who they are. It's also the news that gets out. What are some of those news events? What are some of those things that come across your desk that listeners right now, again, well, do I, should I really go to Nika? Should I sign up? What are some of yeah. those news things? I, I just saw in, for example, when you talk about the electrical contractor magazine, you know, safety leader, like the, you guys send out these, uh, these quarterlies that talk about safety, things yeah. like that. What are some of the things that you put out on social media that you think is super beneficial for those electrical contractors out there that still are not part of Nika? Yeah. I mean, I think the things that we produce solely like from our government affairs team directly are things are going to affect your business. So, you know, the infrastructure bill that came out a year and a half ago, that was something that affected pretty much everyone in the electrical yes. construction industry. Even if you aren't, even if you aren't a part of NECA, that's still affecting you. We're putting out articles about new OSHA regulations, um, you know, different safety updates that are going to affect you. We're putting out anything that any contractor needs to know that's going to affect their business. Again, regardless of if you're a member or not. Yeah. And yeah. like you mentioned with Electrical Contractor Magazine, they have the safety leader issues. They have different issues, um, you know, with lighting picks, anything like that. So if you need to know, you know, what are some cool tools that I should be investing in for my business? Yep. They always have a whole section on that. I know you my mentioned Klein. It's Klein my favorite section. There. Yeah. Lots of pictures, yeah. less reading. I'm just kidding. <laughs> exactly. That's my fair part too. Right. It's you just, I'm such a visual person right. that when you're looking, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to go buy a hammer or something, but that looks cool. So they just have all these things that 
make it so easily digestible. And that's what I do on social media is I'm taking the information that I'm given for these events or any other area of art association and digestible, easy to read pieces that are going to make it so you know that this is important, but also you're intrigued to read it. Absolutely. I'm holding it up on the video, the sections that she's talking about. It's one of my favorite, lots of new products that come out and good stuff like that. Now, the funny part is, um, again, because in that two hour conversation, me and Samantha had, we had a lot of interests in certain areas on mm -hmm. social media, because again, I, I, you know, I hate the word creator or influencer, yeah. and, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're going to call it, but I know that trend's going away. I'm just going to call myself the 360 electrician, right? Helping those yeah. that want to become contractors. Um, yeah. So we also get our entertainment from social media. So I get 90%, maybe even more of my news. 10% is somebody else telling me, hey, did you hear? I get 99% of my entertainment probably besides this podcast. I'm sure we're being, we're, we're either torturing or entertaining someone out there, but that, I think it's entertaining. Yeah. That's the other part of it is that you wield that sword. And we talked about some yeah. cool and fun stuff because it's funny. You we'll talk about some creators right now, but we kind of have a quirky, um, personality. We like to laugh. I yeah. laugh at myself all the time. I, I I've been yeah. to your TikTok, so it's going to blow up. You're going to get a lot of people going, oh I know, my I gosh, who's the Samantha? Samantha is single. She's 20. No, no. just kidding. Uh, she, I mean, I am. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, says that. But her dad's an electrician, so don't go there, guys. Okay? So mm -hmm. the funny part is me and her, um, um, we, we are okay to laugh at each other. We kind of showed each other some videos okay. that we're laughing each other. And that's what I love uh, about social media. So we, again, and we talked about like, oh man, we, you know, Samantha, you really should do a takeover. And she's like, you should do a takeover of Nika. I'm like, uh, you know, I turn all white. But those mm -hmm. are the fun things that we think about in social media. And I think those things are coming. I think you as the digital content creator, are you are you going to start getting a little creative and, and start getting because the new generation, I don't care who's in charge yeah. now. No offense to anybody. I've been in the corporate world. I know we have uppers. If you're listening, yeah. uppers. This girl is in a perfect position. She's the perfect age. She's the perfect being a woman. Obviously, uh, I'm 100 percent for that because my best women that I hired in the trade with tools and in the back end, Jamie, if you're listening mm -hmm. to this, have been women. They've just been incredible because, uh, again, because they're positive opposites. Does that make sense? They're not me. Yeah. They're not okay, the typical. Yeah. And uh, yeah. so let's talk about a couple of your favorite social media uh, people out there that you follow. I think it's cool that yeah. I have you on there. And before we do that, you know that I didn't even mention this from the beginning. Maybe I should say, okay, everybody, we're going to go back to the beginning. This is a part of my series, Women of the Trade. I completely forgot to say that. But yeah. I talked to you quite extensively about some of the women that are really just knocking it out of the park, yeah. both on the There's field. There's so many and, yeah, here. Yeah, there are. And uh, so I want to talk about your favorite, like, electricians, whether they're women or men, yeah. some of the podcasts. What are some of the things that Samantha from Nika, this is important. If yeah. you're one of these people she's mentioning, it's a pretty big thing. And definitely you gotta yeah. go see us. If I mention you, you know, shoot me a follow, connect with me, anything. Yeah. But I think it's funny because, you know, we were talking about how social media has kind of changed. And I think the way that um, not even just the electrical construction industry, but any trades are perceived, they kind of have that very old school, like by the book, but it's changed so much, especially with social media. I mean, I go on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and my algorithm is so tailored to this industry as well as I'm seeing all these different content creators, um, you know, electrical contractors, different companies, no matter what, they're all doing their own twist on, you know, showing off their own content, but also not just selling themselves, but they're also trying to help the community within the trades. So I know I've had a special shout out EC Megs. Uh, I had a LinkedIn live with her, I think a year and a half ago when we were at the Women in Nika and Future Leaders Conference. Mm -hmm. And I found her kind of like how I found you just scrolling on social media. And I mean, she is definitely up there not to pick favorites, but she is one of my favorite electrical construction influencers. Yep. I have, because I have talked to her and she loves you as well. I'm yeah. going to say that uh, uh, I'm representing so her for sweet. two seconds. And every yeah. time she hears your name, she's like, woohoo. Yeah. And of course, I know me too. Yeah. Very cool. I love her. She's, she is the perfect example of she is a triple threat. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a real person. She's a woman of the trades. Um, she's a mom. She's an electrician. That's a quadruple threat. Yep. But you know what I mean? She is showing off her everyday life, but also her apprenticeship journey. And I think that's so cool because mm -hmm. 
while someone who is maybe scared to join the trades is following her and seeing her stuff on social media, you know, she's really influencing them to join their local organization and their local trade school so they yep. can get started on their journey. Yep. So I think she is, she's definitely up there. She's one of the most impressive people, I think. And I just, like I said, I love her. I know she loves me. Yeah. But um, she has agreed think, to come on the podcast. So I made that official now. You haven't heard I it anywhere else. That. Yes, finally. Okay. And I think a lot of, that has, to first, do, a lot of that has to do with uh, saying, hey, I know Samantha too. Come on. Come on. Samantha's me. I know. You know. And she's awesome. So yes. She has absolutely. such a good personality. It is. And she kicks butt on the field, of course. So she holds her own. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's done. she's been very successful. I think she's you know one of those front runners of women on social media as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, going along that, journey. Tell me a couple of other ones that you, that you follow. Anybody else that you're interested in? Anybody else that you think should be on my podcast? Along the TikTok Avenue, I think TikTok is so good for trying to recruit, but also engage with the younger generation. So, you know, either in high school, right out of high school, which you want to start them young. Mm -hmm. So on TikTok, I love Let's Talk Cabling. His name's Chuck. He provides a ton of just educational resources as well. He's awesome. But also Lexi along the same route mm -hmm. of Women in the Trade. Yeah. She similar to EC Mags, you know, she's a mom. She she's awesome. Her content is educational. Again, you're following along her journey. Mm -hmm. So I love her. I got to say those are those are a couple of my top people. Yeah, I mean, I, and I think Lexi has blown up because I joke around. Lexi, if you're listening to this, by the way, uh, I know you get 10,000 DMs every day. Tennessee Electric, I got to throw this in, says Lexi doesn't respond to anybody. Think about it. She's a mom. She's kicking butt. She's got a film. She's, she's got a, And you know what? Sponsors are after her. I know that for a fact. I think we're going to be running in. Lexi, you and I are going to be running into each other very soon. So I think, you know, I'm a special invite. Mags is on the podcast. Would love to have Lexi on the podcast. But what I was going to say is that um you know my guys sometimes i joke and i go and they go what do you expect out of me and i go watch lexi's channel if you can do what she does you're hired watch mag's channel if you can do what they do you're hired jokingly but anyway um it is pretty incredible uh the success that they have but again if they never got into the trade that's women in the trade have such a great positioning right now yeah. not because it's given at all i mean these girls will they will kick my rear end and they can, by the way, that's something I also say. I think I told Greg from Klein that I, I said something and I said, hey, I'm not saying anything bad about that. Literally, they kick my butt in the field and they could literally kick my butt. Yeah. But they started, they, they're they filling a niche that there's such a demand, just like you are. There's such a demand mm -hmm. on the front end and on the back end. And I think mm -hmm. it's amazing. Uh, I think they're also setting an example too, though, because, you know, young women who are scrolling on their social media, they're going to see people like Lexi and EC Mags, and they're going to go, I can do that just like she can, yeah. you know? I it's think they are setting, right? Yeah, it's, it's they're setting such that. a good influence. Yeah, I met, it, oh, I, sorry. I met a, a girl again, Ryan. I know you probably aren't listening to this. I met this young girl. She's 19 in Home Depot. Her name was Ryan. And she saw the shirt and she said, that's cool. She goes, and she goes, I've been thinking about getting in the trade or I'm going to go into the Air Force. Well, I told her, listen, mm -hmm. Both are great, but, you know, I would obviously pick Air Force because I love this country. That's why we have the flag on our thing. This, this, you know, hands down, I'm the biggest patriot on earth. So I said, but if you don't decide to do that, I will hire you no matter what, because there's not a lot of opportunity for women up here. And then I mm -hmm. said, why don't you go take a look at Lexi? Because she's young TikToker. And she goes, I think I've seen her. And I said, and she's got, she's, you know, she's a nice young lady. I'm not going to say anything else because I think it would be weird. But I said, yeah. You see, like anything is possible. Th just like you said, they have opened the door for s something that wasn't even here two or three years ago. And mm -hmm. we have Carly and some other ones I'm, I'm sure you're going to mention. But who are some of the men? Can we get some men in here? Do you like to follow any of the uh, guys besides? I, I follow Jeff, the 360 electrician. <laughs> right, I, paid you. I think he's great. Top of my list. Right, okay. Top of my list. Uh, this is now. Because and then you, now you just made it paid programming because I'm going to have to send you a check to say that. Right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just a little free plug there. So any of us guys besides me that you're following? <sighs> Besides you, I think Josh and Doug from the Modern Electrician podcast. They're really great. I knew you were going to say that. Josh and Doug. I have love got, them. I know. I had such yeah. a great time on their podcast. It was, I've never laughed so much in my life. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You guys are talking about peeing? <laughs> Like in the truck. I know, I know. And, and, and yes. That had me laughing though. That had me laughing so, a lot. So I'm not going to lie. Again, a tradesperson or woman is going to understand. Yeah. But what got me is like, we were like going and I'm laughing. And then like Josh yeah. throws in the apple juice bottle and all that crazy, crazy stuff. 
Uh, I that love was it. Uh, and by the way, uh, so in case you guys are listening, Josh, Doug, me and Samantha love you guys so much. We actually volunteered since they're taking a family leave to take over their podcast. They said no. How about Samantha? Can you ask them personally that we want to take over their po podcast for one episode? Can you say no to this? Space? Josh, Doug, please. Come on. I'm doing a great job taking over this podcast. Eh. You know, I'm I'm letting Jeff retire early. Right. You guys could also retire early. Uh, I can handle t running two podcasts. What worse can happen? I've only got six followers, guys. Come on. <laughs> See? Give us a shot. I know. Give I know. us a I, shot. I think it would be hilarious. I think we'd have a great time. I think it would be great. There's another thing yeah. that me and Josh, I, took, I sent it to Josh. So, Lexi, back to you mm -hmm. if you're watching this. I'm sorry. Hey, if I had 875,000 yeah. subscribers on TikTok, you know people are going to talk about you. But I actually told Doug that Lexi kicks some rear end and Carly and these girls. But let's be honest, they look a lot better than I do. Unfortunately, not, you know, I don't have your look so I can be on the same playing field. But they, and I said, Josh, let's make a parody where I'll dress up like Lexi or you will and I'll be Carly. And then, you know, when they're doing these certain things, we will. I thought it would be funny, but of course I'm going to ask them first because I'm not, you know, I don't want to be bashed from mm -hmm. everybody saying I'm something that I'm not. And you know my heart, Samantha. Yeah. You know, I'm 100% oh, yeah. pro woman, all that stuff. I just love, I just love it because you got to have fun. And there's a lot of haters yeah. out there, to be honest. And I want to talk to you about oh, that, yeah. by the way. I want to mm, talk to you about yeah. that because I totally forgot. In social media, we have haters. We have yeah. people out there. I love how uh, Dustin from Electrician You, Dustin, if you're watching, I started my YouTube channel because of you. I want to get you on the podcast. Oh, but look, that's sweet. when you get 500 and something thousand, I know it's going to be tough, you know, but he's been on some podcasts. He's a very generous guy, I think, with his time. Yeah. Uh, but I'd love to he's get sweet. you on here because I don't believe in competition. I believe everybody should be watching everybody's YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. That's I say that. That's why I get everybody on my show. I'm going to go in my ADD tangent. But anyway, I'll, I'll tell you a bunch of the influencers <laughs> that I have great relationships with. So I wanted to reach out to Lexi and Carly and all them because of that, you know, I don't want people sending me hate things like I'm making fun of them. Mm -hmm. Actually, I am propping them up. Because they, again, they kick, anybody that knows me knows that I have so much respect for them. But let's talk about the hate thing because they address it. Dustin, uh, as I said, addressed it really nice once because, you know, he doesn't give a crap. Um, in, uh, meaning he doesn't give a crap about those people. Um, mm -hmm. He just, you know, it's so important. So you, I'm sure, like like Lexi and Carly and Jess the Spy, I don't know, I'm trying to name uh, uh, EC Mags. Mm -hmm. I know get the, well, you didn't do it to code or you didn't do that. I mean, is it hard for you? Because you said it, you were honest. I mean, it's the truth. You don't need to be on the field with a tool to be, but do you ever get yeah. anybody say like, you're not an electrician, why are you telling us this or any kind of hate? Oh, yeah. There's definitely still a level of misogyny that even I face, even just being behind the computer. And I've never once claimed to, you know, be an electrician or to have worked in the field, but Actually, when EC Mags and I did our LinkedIn Live last year, uh, we, I got a comment that said to me, you know, at me, not EC Mags, that said, if you've never worked a day in your life on the field, then you shouldn't be doing social media on it. <laughs> and I think that's so interesting just because it's such a different perspective that I'm kind of putting out right. there. Rather than saying, you know, this is what it's like on the job site, this is me saying, okay, I've talked to all these people, I've from all across the country, and with these, like, you know, these are the tools that I'm giving you guys on social media that mm -hmm. come from Nika National and Electrical Contractor Magazine and Electric International. So I think there's definitely um, some level of misogyny that I faced. Um, obviously, Lexi, EC Megs, but then even just on Nika's channel, all that, we get hate, you know, just random people kind of trolling us. I think that's the thing about social media is people hide behind a computer screen now and they think they can just say whatever with no repercussions. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's crazy. It's very true. Sometimes I say it a lot on the channel. Uh, you know, sometimes I constantly remind uh, my subscribers on the channel that I'm not your code guru. I am mm -hmm. not the guy that's going to teach you how to bend conduit. It's not my specialty. My specialty mm -hmm. is helping you to become an electrical contractor and as an electrical contractor to level up and that's it. But I do do content where I'm up on the field and sometimes it might be like not perfectly like somebody does it. I think Josh and Doug had said that like, uh, other people have said it. I think even uh, the ladies have said it. Like in my area, it's not like it is in your area. The co the NEC is kind of your basic, but the local jurisdiction trumps that. Uh, I've got a lot of good yeah. friends. Ryan Jackson, uh, who's a code guru. Uh, Stephen Cal uh, Cavalleris, who's electricaltime.com, code guru. They constantly remind me, and sometimes they'll send me an email, and they say, hey, was that to code? And then I, you know, I'll be like, oh, I never thought of that, but yes, it was. And so you mm -hmm. get the hate. I think the funny part is, and someone said it, 
electricians like to bash electricians more than any other trade yeah. likes to bash itself. Totally. Yeah. Do you kind of get yeah. that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Even I've seen news about that online. You know, electricians, they pick on themselves more than anyone else. I mean, they can riff on you know, plumbing, HVAC, whatever else. But I think they're picking on each other more yes. than anyone else. Yes. And it's funny um, yeah. because, again, it's different for everybody. And for me, I do a lot of the sales, a lot of the, the you know, uh, the marketing. And I've been accused of being mm -hmm. a salesman. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Like, that's a compliment. Yeah. I own my own company. Like, if I don't sell anything, you don't have a job. So a lot of those things we turn into positives. And I say anybody mm -hmm. that's in social media, including yourself, obviously like me, it, it hurts. It does. It's not that it doesn't yeah. hurt. Sometimes you're just offended because you feel like you're giving so much and really, I mean, I'm not giving it for free, but it literally is free because I'm still, this still costs me more than I put into it. I understand that it's a job yeah. for you, but it's not a job because you actually care. You, the, you can tell from when you do stuff. When, when these gals are out there, even the guys are out there, Josh and Doug, like they don't get paid to put this content out. And so if you're listening no. out there, this is a perfect opportunity. If you're watching on the podcast, if you head over to, to see Samantha over at, at uh, what's the best places they can see you at, by the way, I know you have your personal TikTok. I don't know if you want them to go there, but the Nika, yeah. uh, the Nika um, LinkedIn, you guys have mm -hmm. Facebook. What's a great place for them to come and say hi to you? You know, I think definitely on any of Nika's social media channels, our handle is NikaNet, N-E-C-A-N-E-T. Um, on any social media, you can follow my personal TikTok, Samantha McDonald 17, and then also Nika, but it's Nika Nat on TikTok. Got it. You can say hi to us anywhere there. Okay. So it's Nika Nat with an A or an E? It's Nika Nat with an A on TikTok. Oh, interesting. That's the only one that's different. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Nika Nat wasn't available. I tried to report the account, but, um, Okay. So I've got, it, I've got it on the YouTube. So if you're watching this on the video, uh, the, the link is right there. So let's talk about the highlight of what I think Nika does every year. Can we talk about the trade show that's coming up? I was waiting for this one. Yes. That's exactly what I've been waiting for too. I cannot wait to go to the show. Part of it is the new relationships that I built with other social media uh, influencers. Again, I know they don't like that. Yeah. You, because we're definitely hanging. Are you going to hang out with me at least a little bit? I mean... <sighs> I can, what? I can make some time. Why do you have to torture us? See, that's one thing that the women do do good is they can torture us very, very well. So I, I definitely want to hang out with you. And we're, I'm going to talk about that because I think if we're hanging mm -hmm. out together, um, we've tortured people for about 45 minutes now. I think that we yeah. owe them a little something if they, if they have to be within our presence for another 30 seconds, but let's talk I think about there. Yeah, I definitely think so. Let's talk about Nika. I've got the website on it's Nika convention.org. Tell me about the show and how you're involved with it. Yeah. So this is the premier event of the whole entire electrical construction industry. It's, you know, people from all over the country come here. I mean, it is just the biggest show. We have exhibitors, we have breakouts, you know, the trade show floor is huge. It's insane. You know, there's always chances to win prizes and all that stuff. You can always find me running around the trade show with my little iPhone, taking content of things. Um, so you can see me kind of just running around like a hooligan and maybe you'll find Jeff there too. <laughs> you might, you might. I, I yeah. want to know if I can hang out with you at least for a little while in the Nika booth. Cause I'm sure you guys are going to have some goodies and, and I love goodies, but I yeah. also, I also want to ask, um, that I always like when people come on the podcast, and especially if I'm going to get to see them. Um, I uh, pushed Klein Tools to give away 20 t-shirts if they mention wow. the 360 Electrician podcast. And if it ain't Klein, it ain't it, yeah. mine. Can we surprise them? They, t you know, this podcast not ending, so don't click off yet. I know you've been wanting to for like the past 45 minutes. But can we do a surprise? We got to give away some merch or something. My autograph is worthless. Your autograph on a picture, I think that'd be a big item. Okay. My but, autograph is priceless. There that you is go. expensive. So yeah. can, can, can we come up with something after the show, but promise people like the first 20 people, how many people you want to do it? Like 20 people. Okay. The first like 20 people enough. that catch me and Samantha together at Nika, we're going to have to get, have something to give away. And I'm sure it's going to be awesome because I'm going to make Nika, mm -hmm. I'm going to make Nika give it away. I'm broke. I yeah. can't give away anything. I'm just kidding. We're going to give away merchandise and stuff like that. I'm sure we're going to give something. Oh, yeah. So um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of influencers there. Who did you see last year? Last year, I saw Dustin. Uh, I think EC Mags was there. Mm -hmm. I think Josh and Doug were there, but only to do the podcast. You're right. I think Josh and Doug were definitely there. I 
I might have passed them, but I don't think I said hi to them. So did, did if, Dustin, this would be a great introduction for uh -huh. us to take over their podcast. Absolutely. At the Absolutely. Did yeah. Dustin have an entourage? He's the biggest YouTuber in electrical. Did he have an entourage or bodyguards? I think he did. <laughs> I think he had a couple people with him, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure Dustin oh, yeah. can handle his own. He doesn't need a bodyguard. I would yeah. need a bodyguard. Not that anybody wants to touch this body. But anyway. Yeah. All right. So, uh, okay, as your uh, big brother in the trade now, uh, I'm going to ask that if anybody comes to you that wants to take a picture because they heard you on the 360 Electrician podcast, has to yeah. mention that Jeff, the 360 Electrician, gave me permission. How's that? Okay. Okay. I perfect. think that's fair. Perfect. Yeah, I love it. The first 20 people that we see when you see me and Samantha together, and I'm sure we're going to be hanging out because nobody else wants to hang out with me. So, I'm going <laughs> to, she's yeah. going to be like, Jeff. Get away. Okay. You've been in this booth for because you guys got good coffee, is what I'll say. Right. Tell you everybody. can tag along. Yeah. All right. I'll tag along. I like it. So hopefully, Samantha allows me to tag along. So, Samantha, again, can you tell us where it's happening and the dates? Yeah. It's happening this September 28th through October 2nd in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Nice. So it's going to be a good place. You know, it's going to be a fun city to be in. Yeah. Luckily for you, it's just down from Washington, D.C., where your headquarters is. I'm going to travel <laughs> about 1,200 miles. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see just the people that, um, you know, that I've connected with over the year uh, or years because I didn't get to go to Nika yeah. Austin last year. I got invited by the state of Montana to speak at an event that I had to That's cancel cool okay. for medical reasons. Yeah, it was a bummer, oh, uh, but okay, I didn't get yeah. to go. It was going to be it was going to be awesome to go there. All right. Mm -hmm. And then who are some of the biggest names that are coming that that you know of? Jeff, the 360 electrician. Yeah, I will That's be number one. Right. There goes another check. <laughs> Yep. Can you let us know which industry leaders are going to be there, tool companies, uh, anybody that Nika has connections with? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we have a ton of our premier partners. So Milwaukee, um, Schneider Electric, Gray Bar, United Rentals, all those great things. Klein will also be there. Yes. You know, we mentioned them. Klein will be there. Um, you know, ABB, 3M, all those different ones. I Even know. just. I don't want to hold. I, 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 I probably shouldn't ask that question because I don't want you to miss anybody out. Ideal's got to be there. Yeah. Do you know if Nipix is going to be there? I don't know if Nipix is going to be there. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, know I don't you know. Don't have the whole list in front of you, but I don't. Yeah, but it's on the convention website. On the yes. convention website, you can check the exhibitor list. So I think it was over. I think it's over like 800 exhibitors wow. are going to be there. Wow. So pretty it's, amazing. it's pretty big. The trade show floor is it's insane. Yeah. You know, it's always busy. But everyone like besides Nika National, like all these individual booths, they're all doing giveaways, um, you know, spin to win anything. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. And Jeff, you're going to love this one. Mm. There's a sports area, the sports zone. So you can get a drink at like 10 a.m. and walk around <laughs> with it. You know, you can watch sports, um, get a beverage, do whatever you want. It's awesome. You know, I, I understand the undertone. What she's trying to say is if you're going to meet me at the show, you better start drinking at 10 a.m. is what she really means. <laughs> My wife I mean, would 100% agree because I never shut up, yeah. but that's a whole other story. It's okay. I don't need Samantha, I mean, I always have so much fun. I feel like if, if we keep going, we can keep going forever. Yeah. Uh, I think the accident rate in America will go up because people will just want to crash their cars to get this podcast over with. I'm just oh, kidding. Yeah. But absolutely. let me ask you a question. Did you have fun on the yeah. podcast? I had the best time. Did you have fun? I had the great time. I always have a great time with you. I knew I was going to have a great time. If yeah. I invite you back to actually really take over, let's just say if I'm out of town, would you be willing to do that? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Okay. This everybody... was just our travel run before I take it over. Perfect. Nika show is September 28th to October 3rd in Philly. I'm going to be gone out of town. So Samantha is going to take over the podcast for that weekend. No, I can't do mm -hmm. that. I need you at the show. I, I know. No, you. I get that. I appreciate you, Samantha. Thank you so much for coming on. I, I really, thank honestly, you. truly uh, do thank you because it's tough. You know, it's tough for a man, let's just say, even to book women that are so in in a powerful position in a, you know, with, you, you know, the ladies that have these followers, uh, the guys are kind of yeah. like, it's easy. I could just say, yo, dude. And it's kind of different. It's different because you guys get approached by so many other people. But just you having on uh, you on the channel again, it just blesses all the women that are listening to know that it's not only putting a tool in your hand. Sometimes you yeah. put a computer and a mouse in your hand. And a lot of times yeah. that is way more powerful. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. I'm going to see you at the Appreciate show. It. I'll see you at the show. I'm excited. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the 360 Electrician Podcast with my special guest, Samantha McDonald, the digital content coordinator over at NECA, Electrical Contractor Magazine, and Electri International. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash like. Don't forget to go to the YouTube channel at the 360 Electrician to watch the video version of this. And of course, head over to NECA, sign up for everything that they have. It will be nothing but positive for you as an electrician, as an electrical contractor, at 
at www.necanet.org. And we will see all of you on the next one.